Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are playing for Aquarius. This is going to be your beginning to middle of September spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, I am so excited to announce my new single, Enjoy the Ride, is now on all major platforms, so definitely go check that out. And we hit 5,000 subscribers, so keep checking back. I will be posting up a 5K giveaway video showing you guys how to enter, what I'm giving away, and all that good stuff. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in every week with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating, and leaving such beautiful comments. I really appreciate you guys being a part of this journey with me, and I'm really happy we got to build this up together. So thank you guys so much. And keep in mind, these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading, okay? I don't know if you just heard my stomach. I am really hungry, so bear with me. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this is looking like a continuation and feeling like a continuation of the reading for you guys for the middle to the end of August, okay? So if that reading didn't resonate with you, this probably won't, but that's okay because time is fluid, so feel free to check back on my old videos. You might find something for you there, as well as um, definitely you're welcome to come back next week. You might find something for you there as well because um, time is fluid, so definitely you might find something... Um, in the older videos that may resonate with you um as well as make sure you're checking your sun moon rising and venus okay so i might catch you in one of those groups all right so let's get started um i'm also feeling like this kind of anxious energy from you guys it's like really anxious like my heart's racing pretty fast you'll probably hear the inflection in my voice like yeah i'm like i don't know why i'm just so anxious and like nervous from the spread from you guys um but it's also like happiness. It's like I'm very happy and excited, but like nervous. So I don't know exactly what you guys are dealing with right now, but I'm definitely feeling it. So let's get into the cards. All right. So yeah, so I'm seeing your wishes are coming true here. Okay. I'm seeing concerns are fading away. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely seeing you guys. Your dreams are coming true when it comes to your career. I see you manifesting a lot of money right now. And I see you kind of putting sex and relationships on the back burner so you can focus on creating money, okay? But I see you're being asked to make time for those around you because I see somebody is feeling, um, like, neglected, feeling really like they're missing out here, okay? So I see somebody feels like they're missing an opportunity when it comes to you here, all right? And what I'm seeing is, yeah... Yeah, somebody is really, like, up in their head when it comes to you. They're feeling like they're missing out because you're making money here. Um, it's like, yeah, you definitely could be spending a lot of time at work trying to make your dreams come true, especially those who have, like, a business. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like, a growing business here, okay? So I definitely see you could be putting a lot of energy into manifesting money from this business, your career, whatever this is. I just really see you trying to manifest money right now. I see you making magic, okay? And I just see somebody is missing you here. Somebody is missing you here. They're feeling like they're missing an opportunity not being with you right now. And I see them feeling like they're really up in their head, um, really stressed out, kind of out of, out of balance here. All right. Yeah, just somebody is really just stressed out here because they feel like they always have to reach out to you. I'm seeing this person feels like you're kind of um, kind of like drawing yourself back, pulling yourself back from a situation with them here. All right. But I'm only seeing this because... Yeah, I'm just seeing you're getting a lot of important psychic insights here. I see a lot of things are happening behind the scenes. Like this person definitely thinks you're just pulling back from them. But what I am seeing is you're only pulling back so you can work hard on your career right now. That's all I'm seeing. Like this person thinks like you're busy doing things with other people I'm hearing. Okay, but really you're just working on your career and yourself right now. That's what I'm seeing. And I also see you have this fear that's holding you back from putting an effort with this person, okay? Because it's like, yeah, it's interesting. And this is also the feeling of your last reading too. It's like you feel like you have to choose one or the other, your career or your love life. That's what I'm seeing, okay? And it's like, yeah, I see you're holding yourself back from putting an effort in this situation because you're trying to have organization, logic for yourself. You're trying to have structure and discipline for yourself to grow your business, your career, whatever this is here. This is definitely a money-making endeavor, though. And I see it's like, yeah, you're only holding yourself back from putting an effort with this person because you're trying to make your dreams happen right now. You're trying to be um, disciplined and structured for yourself here because you feel... 
yeah, you feel like you can lose it. You feel like you can lose it if you pick one or the other is what I'm seeing. All right, and I'm seeing release the fears that are holding you back here. Release the fears that are holding you back here because it's like in that last reading I did too. Like you don't have to just pick one or the other. You can have both, okay? And yeah, I'm seeing, um, wow, I'm seeing like a powerful revelation that leads to change here, okay? I see you're beginning to really trust your intuition, all right? It's coming in hot and I'm actually seeing relationships are developing into a new level here. So definitely you could have had a realization here that it's time for you to put in some effort. Yeah, care for yourself and others. So you may be deciding to put in some effort to caring towards this person here because it's like you're realizing, you know, I can have both here. Okay, so I definitely see that for you guys. And yeah, I'm seeing relationships are developing into a new level. I definitely see for some of you, you could like start talking to a person that you just met, okay? and Or for some of you who are already talking to somebody, I'm seeing it's like you're making it official. For others, if you're already official, you definitely could be... Um, like for some of you, I definitely see you could be getting engaged here if you're already with this person. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. Sorry to ruin your surprise. I think that was, I saw that in your last one too. So someone's definitely getting engaged here. So that's really awesome. Congratulations, whoever you are. Okay, but I have over here. Yeah, so yeah, I see you're trying to plan your next steps um, with the eye to long term. And this is also going both ways. So this is for your relationship and also for your career, okay? I see you're trying to have patience. I see there are more good things coming to you. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of blessings coming in for you here, okay? I'm seeing satisfaction from a job well done. Yeah, you're getting a lot of blessings here, okay? I'm also seeing the ending of a cycle and the starting of a new one for you. Definitely could be with this person, like I said. Um, things are definitely, for a lot of you, going to a new level here okay and yeah it's that's like how i'm seeing the cycle as well as well as your business too so you might have had like your startup period and now i'm seeing it's like you got over that little hump of the startup period for your business and now things are really flowing for you is what i'm seeing okay and i just see you really just trying to be mature about this in your relationship and about your career here okay because i'm seeing yeah i'm also seeing you're getting a lot of amazing ideas that should be implemented here Okay, and I'm seeing, yeah, I'm just seeing you're trying, yeah, you're trying not to get distracted here, and you're being told it's important to communicate clearly to this other person here, okay, um, but it's like, I just see you're, you're trying not to get distracted by this person, all right, because I'm seeing you're getting a lot of amazing new ideas that definitely should be implemented here, definitely divinely guided here, okay, and for some of you, you could be running it by somebody here, for some of you, you could be a public speaker, I'm seeing, okay, for others, I'm seeing, I'm just seeing you could be getting, like, advice here from somebody, like, um, it's like you're getting these new ideas, and it's like you're running it by somebody, basically to um see what they have to say about it somebody who's like pretty fair-minded knowledgeable um like kind of more like mature serious um like business oriented i'm getting okay so you definitely could be running it by somebody here and i see yeah you could definitely be um spending some quiet time alone in successful self-employment trying to put these plans into action here okay and i see you enjoying life's little luxuries i see you could definitely be spending time out in nature grounding yourself because i'm also seeing yeah i'm also seeing it's like your third eye could be needing some balance here as well as your root chakra right so it's like you're only asking people it's like you have these ideas but it's like you're running it by someone first because you're not sure about it because you have um like these doubts that are coming from your unbalanced root chakra which is actually messing up your third eye so it's like you're getting the intuitive guidance but because you're hearing this fear coming from your root chakra it's like um maybe i should run this by somebody real quick all right but you're definitely being asked to be mindful of that here. Okay, I see you definitely could be, uh, would be benefiting from grounding yourself in nature here. Um, also, by balancing out your heart chakra, I'm seeing too, would definitely help you feel more connected with the nature that's around you, your abundance that's around you. Okay, um, you are being asked to, um, yeah, definitely pay attention to all of the abundance that's around you. It's going to help you raise your vibration too, kind of get you out of like the doubt, fear, and worry. It's going to help you kind of like step into your power, help you feel yourself more, help you be a little bit more confident when it comes to implementing your ideas I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm really liking this for you guys. Yeah, it's like definitely could be getting these psychic insights, um, new ideas to be implementing, um, definitely about your careers and whatever, whatever endeavors you're doing here. And it's like, yeah, because your root chakra is a little out of, out of alignment here 
and so is your third eye. They're definitely kind of playing into each other, so it's like you're getting the intuitive guidance to put these ideas into action, but it's like you're not sure. You're doubting yourself a little bit because root chakra. So it definitely could be asking somebody here where it's like they're kind of business oriented. Like, do you think this is a good idea? Like, should I blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I definitely see you doing that. And definitely, like I said, grounding yourself will really benefit you spending time in nature. Okay, that'll kind of help you um, just be more confident in um, implementing your ideas because I'm also seeing oh my god the good you do comes back to you I see an unexpected inflow of money okay so I'm seeing some more good karma coming for you Aquarius this is amazing look at that okay so we have this in your last spread too so definitely and I think um I think Jupiter and Sag is going to be like this until um November or December or something I have to double check on that um so I definitely see you're still on this streak of good karma, good luck here, all right? I see the good you do coming back to you. I see an unexpected inflow of money coming for you. And I'm seeing, yeah, you're cherishing your alone time. I see you being happily and successfully self employed i see you getting rewards from all your hard work from all the good that you do in the world i see you definitely are getting a lot of blessings here somebody here is really i'm just seeing like kind of selfless here some of you might do charity work or you might just donate your time to the public here their community okay some of you yeah you might like some of you i'm seeing like you cook for a church or something i'm just seeing somebody here or like anyone who this is resonating with i'm just seeing you have a very good heart and i see it's like because you have this good heart i definitely see you've been through a lot of burdens but i see all that good you've been doing in the world sharing your light sharing your love i see all that good coming back to you and i see a lot of money coming to you a lot of um a lot of money inflow i'm seeing those who have their own business or their own careers they're working on i'm seeing you're going to be happily and successfully self-employed here some of you might be painters musicians some of you might make clothes um I'm just seeing like a lot of good things are happening for you here. A lot of good things are happening for you here. And it's like kind of funny because it's like all this good is happening for you here. And I see you're kind of holding yourself back from this person still. So you can focus on your work. And it's like you're holding yourself back from this person. You're kind of looking like are they still going to be here when I'm done? Because I see it's like. I just see you kind of being worried about this. I see you getting caught up in a lot of worry and fear. Um, I see you placing too much of an importance on material items. So definitely you could be focusing on money too much here. Um, yeah, you definitely could be focusing on money too much here. Um, don't be in a lack mentality though, okay? Because that's going to lower your vibration. This is also your crown chakra and your third eye affecting you here too. So definitely it's like you're getting an inflow of money here, but it's like, because you're a little unaligned in your crown and your third eye, it's like you're feeling like you can lose everything if you let up, all right? So don't overwork yourself here, okay? Stop putting um, too much of an importance on these material items because it's just naturally flowing to you. It's just naturally yours here because it's, it's karma. It's in the stars here. The good you do is coming back to you, okay? And... Yeah, I see you're starting to see the truth of the situation here, that you're getting a lot of fear and worry for no reason here. Um, yeah, there's like this an illusion that you might like lose everything if you let up, I'm hearing, okay? So definitely take a break if you need to. But I'm seeing, um, yeah, I'm just seeing like be mindful of this. And you could definitely, um, there's definitely different ways to balance out your chakras here. Okay, so for a lot of you, um, what I am seeing is you would benefit from balancing out your heart chakra, your third eye, your crown chakra, your root chakra, and um, your throat chakra. Okay, that will definitely benefit you guys here. Definitely in the long run, okay, because I'm seeing this is affecting you in a certain way where it's like you're not really being able to perceive all the good that's really around you. You're not really... How do I put this? It's like you're too focused on... Oh, I'm going to lose it. I'm, yeah, it's like you're focused on, oh, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Um, it's like one or the other, one or the other. I can't have both. And it's like you're kind of taking away from all the fun that you're, that you're supposed to be having and experiencing. That's like this card right here, right? Like I said, it's time for you to kind of just like enjoy all of the abundance that's around you. Pay attention to it and be grateful for it so you can get more of it. Okay, don't put yourself in a lack mentality because that's not how it is. That's not your reality. That's only your perception. Okay, what I see is a lot of 
growth, abundance in your careers here, all right? And yeah, it's like, I'm just seeing you're definitely placing too much importance on the material items, and it's just making you get up, get caught up in a lot of fear and worry, okay? But this is just a very good time for you, very successful time for you. I see good karma, inflows of money here, okay? Being successfully self-employed here. I see you getting blessings from all the burdens that you've been through, all right? And it's time for you to um, walk confidently into this new chapter, yeah, walk confidently into your new chapter. It's like in your past chapter, I just see a lot of disappointment, okay? So it's like you could be used to be getting disappointed in your endeavors or whatever in life in general. And it's like this is a brand new chapter for you. And you're being asked to recognize that. You're getting a lot of good karma now. It's like I see you could have definitely, um, you could have definitely, yeah, repaid your debt in karma. So it's like, you're, it's like all blessings now I'm seeing for a few of you, okay? So I definitely see that for you guys. So I'm just seeing blessings coming through for you. But it's like, it doesn't feel like it. You don't see it that way because of your perception. Your your chakra, um, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra is unbalanced here. All right, so definitely. And there's different ways you can balance your chakras too. Internet's going to be your best friend. Okay, so I definitely recommend like a chakra diet here. So if you have... Um, if you want to like balance out your heart chakra, you'll eat a lot of leafy greens, anything green. Um, if you want to balance out your root chakra, you'll have like cherries, tomatoes, strawberries, anything red. Okay, so that definitely will help you out here as well as, yeah, as well as like listening to frequencies. Um, definitely you can find them on YouTube or if you just type on Google, every, there's other ways as well. So that's why I encourage you guys look on the internet find what way what works best for you here okay so i'm definitely giving you guys homework here because this is going to help take away the take away the perception of lacking right it's going to take away the worry the fears in your situation and so you can clearly see all the abundance that you have all around you okay so it's really important we change our perception here because this is also like the law of attraction okay you want to stay in this high vibration of abundance and gratitude um so you can get more abundance and gratitude you don't want to have a lack mentality where you feel like you're going to lose it and then you do because you have this lack mentality right because our thoughts manifest our reality if you don't feel successful right now then you're not going to be right because it's the law of attraction it's our perception um and it's also like your chakra is being out of alignment messes up your manifestation skills here so definitely if you want to manifest more money more abundance um more positivity um definitely got to stay in that vibration very important because our thoughts manifest our reality um so definitely also if you don't know the law of attraction that might benefit you too because all these things are actually um playing into one another the planetary alignments um here are actually bothering you just a little bit but it's more in the positive way like i said jupiter is really um blessing you guys right now i definitely see this could be uranus yeah i could be wrong but i definitely see uranus could be putting in a little bit of a fog for you here um, I noticed that it's like when the planets shift, so do our chakras, depending on your signs, your placements, or whatever. So definitely be mindful of that because all of this plays into one another. Like once the planets shift, the chakras shift, and then your manifestation skills shift. So definitely um, this is all connected here and would benefit you guys from, it would benefit you guys to look this stuff up for yourselves and implement it in your own lives here, okay? Anyway, regardless here, I'm seeing, yeah, it's like you're walking into a new chapter full of good karma here. It's like you're done dealing with bad karma. You paid your dues, I'm seeing. And I see you walking into a new chapter filled with lots of good karma for you, okay? And I see, yeah, you're being asked to trust that there is a reason for everything, okay? And to stop focusing on which frightens or worries of you because that is what you will attract, okay? So stop focusing on what frightens and worries you because that is what you will attract and just trust that everything happens for a reason, okay? Because I see things are really looking good for you here and it's time for you to just like relax. I see changes happening for you here in a positive way. Okay, and you're being asked to listen to your intuition because I see you getting a lot of intuitive insights you can trust, okay? And yeah, 
listen to your intuition here some of you might be a mentor or a spiritual teacher i'm seeing okay and others i'm seeing um you're being asked to find one or find a life coach someone that will help motivate you and kind of um steer you into the right direction it's like you have these intuitive insights here but it's like for some of you i'm seeing it's like you need somebody to kind of give you a nudge to get going basically okay and I see you definitely could be taking a break from society. I see you have a commitment to your spiritual growth. Some of you might have a spiritual business I'm seeing. Some of you might make like crystal jewelry. Um, some of you might be just light workers. Some of you have like crystal balls. I see you definitely could be um, a scryer. Okay. Um, I'm just seeing somebody here is, um, yeah, I'm just seeing somebody with like a spiritual something. Okay. A spiritual something here, spiritual gift. So, yeah, listen to your intuitive insights because I see you're very blessed, very gifted here, okay? And um, I definitely see you could be wanting to take a break from society so you can work on your business, on your career, putting these, um, like, implementing these ideas that you've been getting. I see you trying to implement them, putting them to work here, okay? And I'm seeing here somebody, um, I'm actually seeing a few people is watching what you're doing here. Okay, so you might have like a platform on social media I'm seeing. So a few people are watching what you're doing here. I see you've got some stalkers, actually. I'm going to put it that way. You have some stalkers because some of them are, like a few of them I'm seeing, like they're really engaging with what you're doing. And then others I'm seeing, they're just stalking you to see what you're up to or see what you're doing. Um, someone's just like stalking you here. And then I see it's like, yeah, and then I'm seeing... It's kind of weird. It's like I see multiple people, but there's like a spotlight on one person that's definitely stalking you here. Um, so definitely be mindful of that. I see you doing really good. It's like everybody wants to watch and see what you're up to, see what you're doing. Okay, so I definitely see you have like a little audience here. Okay, and it's verified by this too. I'm seeing success that comes from dedication, self-discipline. Okay, celebrating your accomplishments. I see you being in the spotlight. Definitely. So people are really watching you here, whatever you're doing really positive positive vibes for you because it's like yeah it's like you're doing something really good here and definitely for a lot of you could be spiritual i'm seeing but yeah i'm, I'm just seeing you do really really good i'm seeing um you're also helping a lot of people too which is really great okay that could also be this good karma coming in for you right the good you do comes back to you is what i'm seeing okay but i'm seeing yeah lots of success um and it's like yeah, success from dedication and self-discipline. It's like this; these people see you really putting in work right now. All right, they really see you putting in work right now. And it's like, yeah, I see you celebrating your accomplishments with more abundance coming in. I just really see you being in the spotlight here, getting a lot of people's attention. And I'm seeing, yeah, delays are over. Sudden, unexpected good luck. We had this in your last one um, as well and this one too. So, yeah, I'm just seeing this is definitely like a continuation for you guys. I'm just seeing delays are over. I see unexpected good luck for you. You could be traveling to go see somebody. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing it's like you're buying a new car or being gifted a new car. So that's really cool. Um, sorry to ruin the surprise if it was a surprise. But <laughs> I'm just seeing like lots of good things, good karma, good things happening for you here. And it's like, because your third eye and your crown chakra is a little bit out of alignment here, it's like you still have an unfounded fear focusing on worst case scenarios. And it's like you're allowing, uh, you're allowing worry to grow out of, uh, you're allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem here. Okay. So it's like, yeah, your perception is still kind of off. Definitely balance your third eye here because your perception is still off. It's like you have blessings coming in. You're in the spotlight here. Like I said, so many good things coming for you. So many blessings, good karma here. And it's like you're, because your perception is off, you feel like, no, it's not. Like, it's not like that. But really, you're coming up as King Midas here, King of Coins here. Okay, so this is actually a very successful time for you. You're being asked to confidently accept the opportunities that you are offered. You have the Midas touch right now. Anything you start, any project you start is going to turn to gold here okay it's like you have this magic touch right now so everything you do is gonna turn to gold it's gonna be beautiful successful project okay and i see like longevity for you i see like yeah like longevity long money i see like stability in your finances and within yourself here okay so i'm definitely seeing this is really good for you guys um very positive positive energies here very positive energies here 
yeah, I'm just seeing you're really looking good right now. I see you doing good, and I'm just seeing lots of good karma coming for you, um, which is great. Definitely great. So that's basically what I got here. Like I said, definitely would benefit from balancing out your chakras. So it's like then you can actually enjoy all this good stuff that's going on. It's like you will have a clearer perception of what's going on, and it's like it will allow you to enjoy these moments because, like I said, lots of good karma here. Good karma positive um positive vibes here like very good things are happening for you Aquarius um even if they don't feel like it <laughs> even if they don't feel like it very positive things are happening for you right now and this is a very lucky time for you right now yeah lucky like you're really lucky right now like so definitely like play the lottery okay definitely do yeah definitely do um yeah, definitely do your best when you do these new projects or anything because I just see everything you do is going to turn to gold right now. I see the endeavors you're starting turning to gold. Um, even when you're dealing with this person here, I am seeing it look pretty good. Um, but it's like you have this perception that it's it's not. Like I said, it's like how you feel about your career is also how you feel about this person. So it's like you're having all this fear and worry thinking you're going to lose it or lose this person. You feel like you have to pick one or the other, but you can have both here. Okay, and I'm seeing this is just really positive energies for you. You don't have to choose over your career or your um, significant other or person that you have your eye on. You don't have to choose. You can have both here. And I just see it being really successful for you. And, um, yeah, it's like you can have it all, Aquarius. You can have it all, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Some signs you could be dealing with here. You'd be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Libra. Definitely could be a Cancer here. An Aries. Yeah, definitely could be a Cancer here. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, Cancer, like, three times. Um, Virgo, another Virgo, okay, I see that, like, three times as well. Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Make sure you're checking back at the channel. I will be posting up the 5K giveaway video showing you guys how to enter, what I'm giving away, and all that good stuff, okay? So I'll see you next week, okay? Bye.